Hello and welcome to Cole Red Plays Raid Shadow Legends. I am Cole Red. Thank you for joining me. So today is Monday and that means this is another weekly planning video. You keep asking for them, so I'll keep doing them. Now, if you haven't seen one of these before, basically we're going to review all of the various timers that are in the game so you can make sure you remember to get your dailies, your weeklies, even your monthly rewards. In addition, we're going to take a look at the event calendar for the week to see what events and tournaments are coming up. We're going to strategize on the best way to approach those so you can make the most out of your time in game and also get the most value for your in game resources. It's a pretty useful video, actually. I'm enjoying making them because it helps me plan as well. So I think it benefits everybody all around. I hope you're ready for it. Let's get started. Just a quick reminder, we are in the championship round of Raid Madness. The finals come down to Deacon Armstrong up against Geomancer. It is a battle for the ages and only one can come out on top. Now, if you want to vote for the best epic in Raid, click on the link in the description of this video. Head over to the bracket and pick your favorite. Should be a lot of fun. So we're still going to have one more Raid Madness episode, so make sure to hit the like button, but subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications when that video drops. And also consider joining our Discord community. It's a, it's a fun time. All right, let's get back to the video. OK, so let's start with the timers like we do every week. We're going to go into the clan tab here and you'll notice that the clan quests. Oh, there we go. Clan quests only have 14 and a half hours left. It's going to be less when you see this video. In addition, the clan shop resets at exactly the same time. That is how it should work. But so if you need to grab your chickens here or your accessories, maybe you have uh, the void shard available. Hopefully you've already gotten that. But don't forget to buy anything in the clan shop that you need. And if you haven't completed your clan quests yet, do that. You even have time to pick up a clan quest that you might be able to complete in the next 14 hours or so. And not only contribute to your clan, but get yourself a little bit of clan gold for that shop. Heading over to Arena, we can see that the Arena reset just happened last night. So if you need to change your defenses now, you want to go ahead and do it. Remember that in Tag Team Arena, Generally, you want to go down to a one man defense for the first three, four or five days, maybe even six days of the reset. And then in the last 24 to 72 hours, depending on if you're trying to get promoted or hold uh, the tier that you you are currently in, you can put your full defense back in and then get back up into the green area or the yellow area so that you don't get knocked out of your tier. Um, but go ahead and do the reset. Also, don't forget to just be using your tokens. You can see all of my arena battles are basically done for the day. I still have live arena to go. Um, so in two, two and a half hours, I'll get in there. The big timer for the week is always Hydra Clash. And as you can see, there is a difference between Hydra Clash and the Hydra Boss Reset. The boss resets in a day and 18 hours, but Hydra Clash resets in a day and 14 hours. So make sure to get your Hydra keys in. Start planning now. I always wait until the last minute, but I have gotten better about giving myself a few extra hours because it does take a while to manual the fights, especially when you're getting up into like brutal territory. They can be pretty long fights. So, you know, go ahead, make sure that you've scheduled your time appropriately to contribute to your clan's Hydra Clash score and also get your personal rewards. Now, this Doom Tower rotation still has about 11 days left. Remember, there's actually always an extra set of keys on that last day because the reset doesn't happen with the server, right? You get keys on the server reset and then Doom Tower resets like five hours after that for some reason, which is actually a little bit friendly in this particular case. So you can start planning now. Don't forget to start doing your secret rooms so you get the fragments for your Doom Tower champions. Um, and in addition, you know, get all those resources both in hard doom tower and normal doom tower as much as you can you do have some time left so it's not time critical but since you do get keys every day you don't want to waste them so make sure you're getting into doom tower today and every day this week okay now looking over at the cursed city we are actually down to the last two days like the doom tower the cursed city doesn't reset exactly at server reset um it sets a few hours off it looks like for me it's about two and a half hours or three and a half hours different from the server reset. I think that's about right. Um, so you want to, you know, check out when it resets for you. 
and then plan accordingly. Don't forget to use your Amius keys. So I am currently here in Doom Tower on hard. I've been playing hard to try to clear more nodes and get more resources. But if you look at my normal, my normal is cleared. Basically, all I've got left is Amius. I've cleared every location here, but I don't want to forget to clear Amius because obviously he's the big reward. He's got, you know, the accessories. He's got a lot of, uh, you know, the quests associated with him and all the other things that you want. So make sure that you're doing the normal Amius if you haven't already. Do the hard Amius if you can. You may be able to get a significant amount of resources before the end. So even if you can't get the keys for Amius in hard or even in normal, see if you can grab some of these resources. They're really great resources out here. Obviously, there's energy, there's soul stones, there are epic tomes. You know, so there's a lot of things that you can get that may be worth going after, even if it takes a little bit of effort. Now, as you can see, we do have a clan versus clan announcement. It is coming in about 15 hours. So you want to plan accordingly. We're going to take a look at the weekly event and tournament schedule. That's going to affect how we approach clan v clan. But remember to hold on to, you know, the materials that you want to use for the clan v clan resources, whether that's energy or maybe tomes to book your champions. You want to use your great hall medals during clan v clan this is always a great time to go ahead i usually save up you can see i have 2000 medals here so i want to do my great haul during cvc um, remember that for each cvc there are going to be additional objectives so you know there are bonus objectives at some point when this goes live it's going to say two times objectives and you want to check that out right away so you know where the bonus points are and you can line those up with the events and tournaments that are happening for the current fusion event so definitely come in here and always check this out at the beginning of every CVC. It is not personal reward CVC this time, I don't believe. We had personal rewards last time, um, and I haven't seen an announcement that says this is also personal rewards. So I assume it's not. But if that changes, also watch out for an announcement from Plarium uh, so you can decide how hard your clan wants to go and whether you want to pursue those personal rewards. Okay, so here we are in the Plarium Play event calendar. You can see today is Monday the 8th, and we have the Astrid Dream Song fragment event that is going on for this entire week. You can actually kind of click forward and see the entire event. So if you want to look all the way out to next Tuesday, those events are currently on the board. This happens with every fusion. Typically, you only get a few days in advance, but during the fusion, sometimes also during a Titan event, they give you a little bit more information. Now, in looking at this fusion, hopefully everybody has been doing well up until this point. Be aware there is a Sand Devil Turn Attack tournament that is not part of the fusion. Now, if you're not doing the fusion, this could be a good place to potentially get some decent rewards. You can go ahead and check the reward track, but otherwise it's going to take a lot of extra time and energy away from the fusion. So you have to decide for yourself whether or not it's worth investing in. Currently, we are in our second Dungeon Divers event. It has just started and we are still running the Spider Tournament. So based on the way things went, I dropped all of my energy in the Spider Tournament for the first Dungeon Divers event that it literally backed up against this one. You can see it's right here. Um, so that means that my Spider Tournament is done and this Dungeon Divers is going to require a lot of extra energy. We said that in the fusion planning video that I did earlier about this fusion. It's going to be energy intensive, but maybe a little friendlier on shards than normal. So they give a little bit and they take a little bit and maintain the balance. So in this particular case, this Dungeon Divers event may be a little bit unfriendly. I will say that the Dragon Tournament here that's starting on Wednesday, you can drop 100% of that energy into this second Dungeon Divers event because it doesn't overlap with the third Dungeon Divers event at all. So that would be about 2,000 energy for your Dragon Tournament to put into this Dungeon Divers event, but it has to all go in on Wednesday because I think that that ends early Thursday morning. Um, and so, you know, you've only got about 24 hours to complete that Dragon Tournament if you want to double dip with the Dungeon Divers event. If you don't care about that and you want to keep running Spider Tournament because you need the silver, let's say, and Spider drops more silver, then go ahead and put that energy into the spider tournament for the next day or so. Maybe you could even win that spider tournament, get yourself a reward there. But again, you have to make your choice. Where are you going to put the energy? And those are probably the two best places. Either continue putting it into spider tournament or wait, drop it all into the dragon tournament. There is another thing you could do with the dragon tournament. I just want everybody to be aware. 
which is that champion training starts on Thursday. So if you have a good solo dragon champion and you want to run dragon with food to double dip with the champion training event, you could do that instead. And that would mean you're not putting the dragon energy into dungeon divers. You're holding off until Thursday and then running it with the champion training event. Now, what we did say again in our planning video is that this champion training event is probably going to be the one that you'll want to do with energy. The first one was done in the tavern. This one is better for energy because it also lines up with the dungeon divers event, the third dungeon divers event. So any champion training that you do in campaign is going to help you in the dungeon divers event. And again, a dungeon divers event typically takes 5000 energy. And this one only overlaps with one ice golem tournament, which only takes 2000 energy. So you will either have to dump a whole bunch of extra energy into the ice golem tournament or you could dump a whole bunch of energy into campaign. Now, campaign doesn't return as many points per energy. You have to be aware of that, but at least it's a little bit more efficient than just not doing them at the same time. So those are some options here. Again, we have the Summon Rush event that starts on Friday. It is not a two times event uh, shard event weekend. So this should just be, you know, you're going to pull your sacred shards, probably somewhere around five or six sacred shards, plus some mystery shards uh, to get your points. I would highly recommend you don't pull voids, but if you need to pull a few ancients or, you know, if you wanted to pull a primal, that's entirely up to you. But I would generally hold on to my voids for a two times void event or a guaranteed champion. Okay, and so that takes us through Sunday of the week. And in fact, even into Monday and Tuesday, as you can see, we have an artifact enhancement event that starts on Sunday. But hopefully by this point, you've run all of your tournaments, you've run all of your champion training, you're going to have the silver you need to complete the artifact enhancement. I would just say watch your in-game timers, make sure you don't miss out on anything, because missing fragments on a fusion event like this is really painful, because there aren't a lot of places to go and get extra fragments. By the way, if you know that you've already gotten the extra fragments from the champion chase that we've had, you got all 15 fragments there, you can decide to pull fewer shards in the Summon Rush event, or you could still pull for the maximum number of fragments in the Summon Rush event, and that would allow you to save 10 fragments for some of the other events. You could drop some of the other events. Say you could drop the last Artifact Enhancement event if you don't have the silver. You could drop the, the, the Champion Training event if you don't have the time or energy to do that. So you want to start planning that now if you haven't already, just so you know are you going to end up with 100 fragments? Or are you going for the full 110? Remember, you could always trade in the extra 10 fragments if you need to um, for High Mother Mod as well. So that's an option. Okay, so that is it for this week. Let me know in the comments below, have you found this video helpful? Also, did I miss anything? I'm not perfect. Sometimes I miss something. If there's an announcement I missed from Playroom or just some content that I didn't cover here in the video, let me know and I will try to pin that comment so that everybody can not only get that information this week, but then it'll help me get better with these videos in the coming week. Thanks so much for hanging out. I have been Cole Red, and I will see you in another video soon.